Hi, Martin here. So I want to show you guys how to replace your welder leads for your either your stick or your TIG ground cable. And we're going to take it from a four gauge to one gauge. And I did this all for under five dollars. That's right. We're going to go from a 10 foot to a 12 foot lead and from four to one gauge. All right, let's get started. I just recently purchased this Vulcan Pro TIG 205 and that accidentally sent me the wrong gas for the TIG. Well, while I'm waiting for that to get delivered, I thought, well, I'm going to upgrade, you know, the leads on here because right now I got me a very expensive stick welder, <laughs> you know, so I've been playing with the stick welder. Well, I haven't done that in 15 years, but I still can do it. And now the leads that it comes with, both the for the electrode and the ground side are 10 feet long and that's okay but if I want to leave this set up here and work way over there um, need longer leads and this here is 12 feet long okay we're gonna gain two feet but we're gonna go up several gauge sizes right and I only gave four dollars and fifteen cents for 12 feet of this. I think that's a pretty good bargain. And what I really like about it, it already comes with this terminal on it, crimped and dipped in solder. So that is about the best connection you're going to get. Now the other end, we're going to cut this off because that's of no use to us. And by the way, I got this out of a 2009 Dodge Charger. In 2005, Chrysler started putting batteries in the trunk of a few of their vehicles the Dodge Magnum and Charger and the Chrysler 300 and let me take you to pick apart real quick and show you just how fast you can pull one of these out all right here up on the uh, passenger side up front we're gonna pull back the carpet right. also helps go ahead and pull this piece of plastic off of here Here we are right here by the firewall. Go ahead and get this piece of rubber out of here. And there we go right there. Using a 13 millimeter socket. Okay, in the back seat of this car, the seat has already been removed. This one um, must have been after the fuel pump here. And here's the battery cable right here along the passenger side. Got this trim removed already. This just pops right up. All right, I'll lift up the carpet here. This exposes the cable right here. Now, yep. Give it a good tug. It'll come on out. So there's no no reason to remove the back. This uh, no reason to remove the uh, seat. Now right here, it's got a little clip. You just pull that off of there. All right, let's go to the trunk. Okay, back here we got the battery cable. It's got a little plastic holder that holds it down. Just pop that off of there. I'm back here on the uh, fuse block that you're going to find in the trunk. This cable, there's a smaller red cable attached to the main battery cable. With one 10 millimeter socket, remove that nut. All right, now just grab a hold of that cable and start pulling. That's how easy it is getting a battery cable out of here. Another cool thing about this cable, it is actual welding cable. It actually says right on there. There it says Presto Flex welding cable, one gauge, 600 volts, 105 Celsius, made in the USA. 
Gotta love it. All right, there you see how fast and easy it is to get it out of that Dodge Charger. No problem at all. All right, let's start this upgrade. Okay, this is the factory welder cable. The ground side here, removed, and this is the welder end of it. I'm placing that in a vise. Got this rag in here because I don't want to mar up that there. And now pull off this rubber grommet or boot. There we go. To get this cable out of here, this requires a four millimeter Allen. All right, with the clamp side here, this takes a 14 millimeter wrench to remove that nut right there. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and cut this battery terminal off. I'm gonna cut it off as short or as close to this as I can, just to use up every inch. Now the terminal on this side is just a hair bit too big to pass it through the clamp. Not by much, just barely. So instead, I'll pass the cable through this way. All right, now simply just place the terminal back on here. Turn the nut and torque it down. All right, got that end done. Beefy. All right, you'll pull the boot off the old cable. Now, that hole there is a lot smaller than this cable. I put a little Vaseline on there, and there we go. It was in a lot easier with just a little Vaseline. Now just strip this back a little ways. Try to, uh, you know, don't make a mess of this in. I'm gonna find out how uh, close this is to fitting. Now if you find it difficult to get that cable in there, you could drill it out remove the Allen set screw first and just go up one or two sizes with a drill bit and you'll find it a lot easier to get that in there. There we go. Straighten that down. All right. Okay, looking good. Now just slide the boot up. All right, now just install the cable, twist it in, and there we go. Now I got 12 feet of cable. I can actually reach the workbench over there where we're doing the work. And I don't have to move this cart. It can sit right there. Turned out really good for $4.15. How can you beat it? All right, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my next and upcoming videos. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out down in the description where I have Amazon links. And you can do all your Amazon shopping that way. And the channel earns a small commission. I do appreciate that. Well, soon I'll be getting the correct bottle of gas for this TIG welder. And uh, maybe I'll show you how that thing works. All right. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys how to... What do I want to show you?